hey guys, your formula sheet in physics is actually much, much more useful than you realise. Now, it is absolutely essential for the um, maths style questions, um, but it's also going to be really, really useful for the wordy questions as well. I've seen loads of examples recently where they've asked you a wordy question, given you absolutely no hint that the answer is like a maths answer and you're kind of like stuck because you have to like, again this is like why they're making the exams harder, you have to think outside the box to work out, you have to go back to your formula sheet to look at the answer. For example, um, it could be a question on momentum. So, so and so is standing on the skateboard, is standing still on the skateboard, um, why is the momentum zero? Well, the momentum is zero is because momentum is mass times velocity. If they're standing still, their velocity is zero. Mass times zero is zero, so the momentum is zero. It also works with force equals mass times acceleration. This is another common one that I've seen them do it with. Um, uh, if a car is stationary, uh, and what is the force? But if the car is stationary, the acceleration is zero, so zero times mass, the force is going to be zero, because anything times zero is zero. So if you see a wordy question and you're not quite sure how to answer it, it's generally only give it like a one or two mark question for this. Um, think about going back and having a look at your formula sheets, because you never know, the answer might be in there somewhere.